What's up guys? My name is Hannah Cowan and today I'm going to show you how to make a highlight reel. Let's get right into it. You're 10 times more likely to get noticed if you have a video. Very important. Video, video, video. Don't forget about it. Once you've shot all your footage, you want to narrow it down to at least three to six minutes. Coaches want to be able to see your decision making. They want to be able to see your skills, your technique. You know, they want to make sure that you're a good team player as well. All right, guys, today I'm going to be editing Nathan Medford's footage. He is a soccer player from America. My very first step is I find music, have that little cool intro. So Nathan already gave me a bunch of footage already put together. So it was my job to watch the footage. And then I go in and I put the best footage first and then we go from there. So let me take you through. I can't stress this enough. Best footage first. You have 30 seconds to impress, especially if a coach can't watch you in person. The video is all that you have. And then throughout your footage, you don't have to be perfect. Coaches, coaches are also interested in on how players can adjust in situations. You know what I mean? They want to see that you're coachable. Also, I'm going to put this in a less resolution just because I'm recording my screen and it might, it might be a little bit slower. So he's 41, Nathan is 41. So when we go over here, he's usually gonna be probably in a white or a blue uniform. So when we watch this clip, this is Nathan, great header, <laughs> great header. So this, what Nathan also did really correct is that he put in, like I said, you wanna show that you're a well-rounded player, no matter what sport you play, honestly. There's two different kinds of videos. There's a highlight, and there's a skills. If you want to know more about highlight and skills video, comment below, I'll make another video. Let's have like five seconds before the play and five seconds after it. So we could see your decision making and what you were thinking beforehand. So I'm just gonna edit his clip real quick. Also when shooting film, you don't need any special gear. You could just simply ask um, a family member, a friend, um, a teammate, honestly, you could use an iPhone, especially with soccer, you want to be able to track the ball, make sure you do not lose sight of the ball. So I'm just going to edit his stuff real quick. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or you want to see more about how I edit your clips, if you have any questions about the difference between highlight or skills, make sure you comment below and thanks for watching.